friends here welcome back thanks for clicking so this christian went to the mosque with a hidden camera this christian guy decided to embark on a daring mission a visit to a mosque with a hidden camera to uncover what really goes on inside let's see what happens have you ever wondered what is really going on in mosques what is happening in these mosques are they having secret talks, secret meetings? Are they planning something? I don't know. These things just go through your head, right? To the mind of a common man who has been exposed to propaganda against Islam all their life, the mosque is a secret place where all manners of evils are planned. Of course, it's not true. But how many care about the truth enough to seek answers? Not many. Some would say... They speak and pray in a foreign language to hide their plans. This I have heard on multiple occasions. For some of these people, it is not just an idea in their head. It's a belief that they want to be true at all costs. They go as far as gaslighting others to join them in this ridiculous infatuation. Unfortunately for them, that they want it to be true does not make it the truth. Islam is a religion of peace, love and harmony. It has been, it currently is, and it will always be irrespective of anyone's agenda. Unlike those who hold certain beliefs about what Muslims do in the mosque and do not bother to check for the truth, or those who go about asking questions in a hostile manner, this young Christian man visited a mosque himself with a secret camera to see what happens there. He has seen a lot of propaganda and a lot of hostile actions towards Muslims leaving or entering the mosque. So he decided to get his own answers devoid of any prejudice. Although the video is about five years old, the lessons within remain succinct and it will remain timeless for years to come. On entering the mosque, he was welcomed with a greeting from a brother, although he didn't know who he was. He went straight to the wudu center. Even though he didn't know the procedure, he wanted to blend in as much as possible. So yeah, these, these are the bathrooms. This is where you do your wudu. <sighs> After leaving the wash center, he entered the mosque auditorium to meet a few people reading the Quran or some Islamic literature. He took a copy of a book from the shelf and it happened to be a book on principles of Islam. He observed everyone, and after a while, he ended his study and exited the mosque. What he experienced is not an anomaly, but the norm in every mosque all over the world. So visit any mosque near you, and you will experience something similar. He had so much to say after, but everything centered on how Muslims and mosques have been unjustly and unfairly targeted by some people with an agenda, and they have built platforms solely based on this agenda. Irrespective of this, it doesn't change who Muslims are and what happens in the mosques. Muslims are inherently welcoming and accommodating to everyone around us, irrespective of their belief but for those that get brainwashed by these activists on YouTube where they go harassing mosques and people entering mosques and they turn it out to be like oh um, you you guys know who these guys are and they make it turn out to be like you know it's the other way around no but when you go picking on people and then you turn around it's like it's like the bully in the school for those who have this premeditated agenda 
and have refused to back down in the face of truth. We pray Allah touches their mind, because only He can open anybody's eye to the truth. The internet is a fertile ground for agendas and propaganda of different kinds. May Allah keep us and guide us in His path till the end. Wow! So, this Christian was actually curious to know what these Muslims actually do in the mosque. Does they preach or sermon or lecture? Do you guys sit down and the Imam will preach? Or do you guys discuss together? How do you guys go about your, you know, will I call it service? I think I, I should do that. Your service. And apart from Fridays, what other days do you guys meet? So, you know, Christians, there's, there's weekly service, service, there's Sunday service. So, in Islam, is there something similar to that? Or you guys only meet generally on Friday to pray? And apart from the prayer, what are the other discussions you guys have in the mosque? So, I wish this man went on a Friday. As he went on a Friday, it would have been so far blackguarded because it's going to be touched. I know it's going to be touched because you're going to the mosque, seeing people pray. And it was like, the reason why he was curious to go to the mosque because they don't speak in English. They mostly pray in, and, you know, in the language a normal person does not understand. They pray, they recite the Quran, they bow down, they pray. And, you know, he was just curious. Apart from that, what else do they do? And then this day he went there. He went to where they do their voodoo, in which you have to, you know, um, cleanse yourself, like wash your hands, wash your feet before you can go and pray. Then after that, he saw people reading the Quran, reading some Islamic books, and he was perplexed. As I was like, on what occasions do people go to mosque to read? Do you go, you know, can you go there on, on a, you know, on a regular basis? Can you just go to the mosque and say, okay, let me go and pray, let me go and read? Or there's a particular days. There are different days in which you, the mosque is open. Is the mosque opened every day for people to go and pray, to go and read the Quran, or there are some specific days for that. So that was what I was expecting. So I, I'm sure if this guy went on a weekday and when he saw people reading, he also read and he saw their devotion. He saw how concentrated they were to the book they were reading and and how they were charging themselves spiritually, you know, with the Quran, with the books. And that was beautiful. And he came back to tell us that everything the media says is wrong because you can't just conclude that Muslims are this, Muslims is that, that, Islam is not this, Islam is not that, without you experiencing it. It's just like you, you know, that's why they say, don't judge a book by, by its cover. It's just like you seeing someone from afar and you're already judging that the person is a proud person. How do you know he's proud? You need to go closer to the person to know the real, the, the, the person, you know, the real self, to, to understand the person well. So same thing, he had to go to the mosque to really understand Muslims and he came back to give us a positive, you know, remarks that Muslims are wonderful people. The way they, you know, coordinate their prayers, was amazing and let us not be you know blinded or not to really trust everything you see on social media when it comes to islam you know try to express it yourself and see who they are in real life and what islam is all about and that was a beautiful one guys i really really enjoyed watching this video amazing this is really amazing thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like share and comment i'll see you in the next one